Oh, good evening and welcome to the free view for Sha Tin. Uh, there's a TT jackpot. Um, expect the pool to get to about 7 million. So all the races qualify, very difficult races, uh, with nothing unusual there. So we expect that, uh, especially this time of the season. Uh, looking at the overall card, um, we start race one. Uh, just missed there. It's drawn well with Douglas White going on it. I think this is going to be uh, a definite winning chance. PJ Hall now. This has run some good races on the dirt. Turf race is not too bad. Expecting a couple of showers overnight. So if that happens, uh, might take a bit of sting out. Joyful luck. Mega's drawn a barrier, so give it a chance. He's given it seven weeks off, so that might help freshen it up a bit. Hard horse to catch. King on Earth, I think it's had its win and got the money for us last start at a big price. Uh, time winner from Barrier One may improve at odds. The race I don't really like. Uh, five on top from seven, two, fourteen, three, six, and four. We go to race two. <coughs> Rising power, shocking ride last start. Same clowns on it, unfortunately. Um, don't know what's going to happen with this horse. Uh, Drew well last time, jumped well, and then all it did was find trouble, got knocked over three or four times in the run. Uh, then he went the wrong way in the straight. No genius here, um, but 50 kilos. So I think Barrier 8 <coughs> excuse me, Barrier Eight might suit it a bit better. He didn't like the rails last time, and the horse started throwing its head around a bit. Um, as long as he's not sitting eight wide, where we might be a chance with this. Uh, floral man, badly drawn. Uh, it'll be giving him a start, but it'll be running on all right. Kismet and Democles. Now, both of these have been working well and racing reasonably well, but they're hard horses to catch. Uh, Helene Funstar is dropping down to the right level now, and Royal Elegance, a couple of reasonable runs. Uh, I've got 14 on top, last chance for it. Um, from eight floral man, four Kismet. Chances to six, one, five, and three. Uh, race three's got on race, so we pass. We go to race four, the opening leg of the um, TT. Island Garden drew bad last start, got shuffled back near last. Then he's got held up coming around the corner and flashed home and run run a good second. Much better drawn here. I don't think it'll get us far back. I think it's the banker in the first leg. Uh, the horse that beat it, Kynum, weight-wise, they're, they're close now. Uh, both have drawn well, so both should get a good run. Uh, the top weight, Circuit Fortune, Strawn Barrier 2, Moss A on it. Uh, so at least it can't get any wider than two. Well, you hope not anyway. Um, the other interesting one is the 11, Mr. Vanilla. Now, this found a bit of trouble uh, last start, and um, then he didn't ride it out. Preble stuck with it in all its track work, and that's been solid. Uh, expect it to run a good race. Mighty Equius, Silver Dragon. Um, yeah, it looks like number two Island Dragon will probably be the banker for us, and then we might probably take the next five all ways, cover the top six that way. Um, two on top from three, one, eleven, six, ten, and then maybe small place chances to four, twelve, and fourteen. We go to race five. Um, I have to lean to horses that are going to race handy on the speed. Too many of these have got convictions. Uh, this is the tough race. Um, calling with love's drawn well. Preble goes on. I think that's a big plus. It's racing well from the good draw. 56 kilos. I think it's going to be a banker for us. Seven smart ball. If it had a drawn better, um, probably gets an easy lead. Don't know how hard it's going to have to work from out there now, so that's a bit of a concern for me. But certainly can win this. Right jockey's gone on this. Owner's pride. Good effort last start. Kept whacking away over the last hundred. Hadn't had a run for a, a month and a half leading in. Um, I think this has got a good chance. Uh, the 14, this is my smoky. Um, this could throw a bit of value in if we can get this one into the placings. I think this is going to lead. Uh, barrier one should jump straight to the front. If they leave it alone, uh, it may be hard to run down. Now, it's ridden by a complete log. 
but all he's got to do is count to 12 and run even splits for the first 600. And if he can do that and kick kick coming to the turn, yeah, we might get a run for our money at a big price with this one. Uh, the top weight found a bit of trouble last start, but this is becoming a habit with it. Barrier 12, they're going to have to go back. Same with the four winning instinct, going to have to go back. Um, tough race, this. I've got it down to eight that we will include, but I think the six is probably going to be a banker, I think. Um, six on top from 7, 13, 14. Chances to 1, 4, 3 and 9. We go to the last leg, the 1800 metre race. Didn't identify a lot of winning chances here. There's probably a few that could run a place. That's the danger in a race like this. Which one's going to run 1800 on the day? Uh, I've opted for Real Generous. Runs its best races here. If they don't push too hard early and let it settle maybe 5th, 6th or 7th and just wait, I think this is the jolly. This will be our banker. Um, happy to see it charging home late. Medalist now, its form looks terrible on paper. It's found a bit of trouble a few times. It's trialled well and worked well. Marira goes on it, which is very, very significant. He never had a ride in this race, and then all of a sudden they've whacked him on it. Um, must include it. Ambassadorship from Barrier 4. Mosse goes on. Might settle a bit closer to the speed, hopefully not four wide. After that, nine lucky omens, ten club life, which could be uh, the speed in the race if they decide uh, they want to lead. It'll probably they'll probably let it go to the front. Admiral Lord races reasonably well. Behind those, there's always a place chance with Jaeger Bomb, Giggles Forever, Wrath of Fire, and Percy Jackson. Pretty tough race this one. Uh, I've got the three on top from 1, 5, 9, 10 and 14 as sort of the main place chances with probably 7, 13 and 14, 4 and 8 maybe to be considered uh, um, on a double banker style ticket if we decide to go that way. We go to race 7. Uh, Rich Tapestry won this race last year. Beautifully drawn here. Uh, it's the one to beat for me. Lucky 9. Six weeks off, race is good like that, must go in. Charles the Great, Frederick Engels. I think the winner comes from those four. I think Rich Tapestry at eight or ten to one is over the odds. I think it's a good bet on the each way if you're interested in having something on the side. Um, two on top from one, three and four. <clears throat> go to the main race of the day. Designs on Rome, high order horse. This could be their next... Um, 1,600, 2,000 metre champion. Uh, untapped potential. The Japanese horse, Efenaya, uh, very, very smart. Uh, Versen Turo, um, ran second in Dubai, beat the rest out of sight. They ran a track record. They ran 145 something for the 1,800, almost unheard of. Um, so this must go in. And of the uh, Hong Kong horses, Diviani and Military Attack look the only two that have got any hope to roll the uh, the two visitors. So five on top from three and four, lesser chance to seven and one. The rest shouldn't have any hope to win. Race nine, key witness, uh, good win last start. Douglas White sticks. It's the one to beat for me. What you dream and a doll. Uh, they look the main dangers for me from reasonable draws. After that, New Glory. Disciples 12 is an interesting one. Probably better at Happy Valley. Um, I sort of was waiting for Casper to take it there, but uh, the race is well enough here, but I just think the class might find it out. I think if it dropped into a, a, the weaker level on the midweek night, maybe it could win, but uh, it's got a horse with a bit of ability, so it's got to go in and new glory five on top from 13 and 7 chances to 6, 9 and 3 and we go to the last race Dun Donald, he's given it five weeks off, this is racing well goes good this track, goes good this distance um, it's the one to beat for me from barrier 2 uh, Dr Good Habit barrier 4, Marira has gone on, that's a plus uh, must be included uh, of the rest, deep thinking, it's drawn barrier one. Don't know whether that's any great advantage. 
always seems to get cluttered up this horse. I think it needs wide a wide run. Uh, let it wind up from sort of coming around the turn and unleash it down the middle. I'm hoping that uh, he doesn't get involved and try to sit too close. Every time they try to ride it up off on the speed, it's got no kick left. So if he rides it a bit quiet, I'm quite happy to see it three or four back the rails and let him angle it out at around the seven or eight hundred and come out in a two or three wide line then and come down the middle late. If he does that, we're a chance. Flash Knight's drawn bad with my say. That's a lovely recipe for uh, getting slaughtered. So, got a place chance, but I can't have it on the win line. Uh, Majestic Falcon, Teton's gone onto this. Um, it's racing well enough. The 54 kilos helps. C Diamond, now this horse can come back to how it was last season. It had beat these, but he seems to have lost this horse. I don't know why. He just can't get it going at the moment. It's working reasonable. The track just won't produce on race day. And of them, I think they're the only ones. That's how we'll probably play the quartet. Uh, banking four, six, and eight, I would think. Chances to two, nine, ten, and probably for third and fourth, or eleven, five, three, and fourteen. It's not a bad day's racing. Uh, obviously, the TT is very, very tough. If we can plumb this one, um, it's a good dividend, virtually guaranteed. There's nothing really short on the day. Couple of quality races with the sprint and the cup, uh, but they're not betting races, uh, really. And uh, then the quartet in the last. So at this stage, we're probably looking at a TT quartet in race 10 and possibly a quartet in race 5. Good luck if you're playing for yourselves. Um, hope you all had a bit of success uh, today. Um, hopefully, you all jumped on Hannah's uh, goal with, uh, and joined in with us there. Um, threw it out on the video yesterday for you so uh, thanks for the emails from the guys that uh, managed to steal my price the other day when I gave you the heads up well done lads um, but I'm happy with what I got so congratulations to those of you that uh, found the 12s and 14s well done um, hopefully we can keep finding uh, the odd one here and there for you at a nice price thanks for tuning in and good luck with your punting